Hey guys, in today's lesson video, I'm going to give you guys three really good drills to help you create that effortless golf swing motion for that effortless speed and power. And these are drills that I personally use in my playing career, and these are also drills that I prescribe to my clients on a daily basis. So before we get into the three drills, the one concept that we have to know is that if we want to get that effortless golf swing, that effortless speed and power, we really have to loosen up our grip pressure, and we really have to loosen up our arms. Your arms should just feel like ropes or noodles connected to your body. So we should have a really soft grip pressure and we should really relax our arms and we should be able to just rock the golf club back and forth, back and forth in this manner. It looks really weird, it might even look funny, but we have to really relax our arms so the golf club can do what it does in transition because with a change of direction, if we relax our arms, we could do a lot of really, really good things. And another concept that's connected to the first concept is that we have to know what we have to focus on to create that effortless speed and power. For most amateur golfers that does not have an effortless golf swing, if you take a look at their grip and their hand, their grip and their hands move back and forth, back and forth. Even in this motion right here, you can see that the golf club is very rigid and very stiff. These are golfers who tries to shove their handle forward to get into that forward shaftling position. And these are golfers who, from the top of the backswing, opens up and rotates and comes over the top. Whenever the grip end and your hands move a far distance, we can never get an effortless golf swing. Instead, we want the club head to move back and forth, back and forth. So instead of my hands and the grip moving back and forth, we want the club head and the club to swing back and forth, back and forth in this manner. Okay, so now let's talk about the first drill. When we talk about the first drill, the first thing we have to talk about is our grip. Because if we want to create that whip-like motion at the bottom of the golf swing, we have to learn how to load and unload the golf club, but we can only do that if we have soft wrist, a soft grip pressure, and if we grip the golf club on our fingers in this manner right here. If we grip the golf club on our palms, what's going to happen is, is that we can't set the golf club and we can't have a proper wrist set and if we have the grip on our palms, we're going to have a very stiff and rigid swing which is the opposite of an effortless golf swing. So what we want to do is we want to grip the golf club in our fingers in this manner right here and the first drill is we're going to grip the golf club in our fingers but we're going to grip the golf club with only the bottom three fingers in each hand. So it's going to look something like this. And with this grip, we're going to be able to really set our wrists very well and we're going to feel the weight of the golf club. So we're just going to get this grip and we're going to make an L to L golf swing and swing back and forth, back and forth. This is the first drill. We're going to swing back and forth, back and forth. And what we're going to feel is, is from our concepts that we talked before in the beginning of the video, instead of the grip in my hands moving back and forth, back and forth, the club head has to move back and forth back and forth, and we could even hit small little golf shots like this. The second drill is to grip the golf club with the same grip, so through the whole video, we could grip the golf club the same way we did with the first drill. So when we grip the golf club with only the bottom three fingers in each hand, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna get into a post-impact position where the golf club and my lead arm is in a straight line. And from this position, we're gonna make a backswing, and we're just gonna get back into that position and release the golf club from gradually from the top of the backswing. What this allows us to do is we're gonna have a continuous motion back and forth. And the good thing about this drill is we're not thinking about hitting the golf ball. Because if we think about hitting the golf ball from the top of the backswing, for most amateur golfers, they're gonna come out of their stance and they have that hit impulse, so they're gonna to try to early release the scoop and they're gonna get rid of all the good angles that we have. And that's not how you create an effortless golf swing. If you want an effortless golf swing, we want to swing through the impact zone and not think about hitting the golf ball. So what we're going to do is get to a position post-impact where our lead arm of the golf club gets into a straight line. And don't forget to release the golf club. And from this position, this is our end goal. This position right here. We're not thinking about hitting the golf ball. The golf ball is just in the way. So what we're going to do is we could start from this position right here and we're just going to make a backswing and get back into this position right here when our lead arm and the golf club is in a straight line and we're going to hit the brakes. So it's going to look something like this.
post impact position where my lead arm of the golf club is in a straight line, club head is slightly released, and from this position, we're gonna get into the same position without thinking about hitting the golf ball, we're just swinging through, and we're gonna get into this position post impact, make a backswing, just get back into that position with a continuous motion. The third and the last drill, we're gonna focus on the sequence in the downswing, because with the correct sequence, we could have that effortless lazy look like Ernie Els, but we're gonna hit the golf ball as far or farther than our normal self. Because what happens is, is that the one thing we have to realize is that if we have a vicious move, if we have a hit impulse from the top of the backswing, it might look and feel like we're about to kill the golf ball, but waste in motion looks like you're gonna kill the golf ball and it looks like a powerful move, but waste in motion does not do us any good. Because even if we look like we're about to smash the golf ball from the top, the golf swing does not work that way. We have to be very patient and if we have the correct sequence, then we could give out less effort because what happens with the waste of motion is that we have a lot of output of energy, but the golf ball is not traveling anywhere. But if we have a sequence that's correct and an optimal sequence in the downswing, then we could really give out less energy and we could really whip the golf club at the bottom and get the golf ball to travel far away. So in this drill, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our lead arm lead hand in thumbs up position, and we're gonna go to the top of the backswing. All this thumbs up position represents is my wrist set at the top of the backswing. And all we have to remember is the correct sequence in the downswing should be body and then arms. So what we're gonna do is from the top of the backswing, we're gonna keep our thumbs up position, and from the side view, what we're gonna do is we're gonna push my butt back, and we're gonna rotate my lower body back to my setup position and recenter. So we're from the face on golf swing, push my butt back, and my lower body is gonna go back to around my setup position. And my thumb is gonna be still in the thumbs up position right here. I'm not wasting all my good energy and my wrist set for the top of the backswing. So with the golf club, it's gonna look something like this. Thumbs up, and we're gonna push my butt back, and my lower body is gonna rotate back to my setup position. And if we just relax my arms and my hands for the top of the backswing, just keep my thumbs up, what you're gonna realize is that if we leave with our body first, then the golf club is going to shallow and come right into the slot every single time. We don't have to pull the handle or anything like that. So from the face on golf swing, push my butt back, rotate back to my setup position, and my golf club and my lead thumb should still be in a thumbs up position. Then once we get into this position, now we could have the same release towards the target. So the sequence should be body and then arms. We should go body and then throw the club towards the target. So the drill for the third drill is thumbs up with the lead hand, I'm gonna push my butt back, and my lower body's gonna rotate back to my setup position, and I should have my thumb still pointed towards the sky. Then we're gonna release the club and sling my arms towards the target. So remember, the sequence in the downswing should be body and then arms. So it should look something like this. We're still doing the same grip from the first drill, and we're gonna go body, my thumb is still pointed up, and then we're going to release the golf club and go arms. So it's the correct sequence that allows you to have that effortless golf swing look. So it's going to look something like this. If you guys liked the lesson video, please like and subscribe. I'll leave an icon here, right here, so you can subscribe to my channel. And for in-person or online lessons, I'll leave all that information in the description below. Thanks, guys.